Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. God bless you. God bless you, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you doing? Hey, I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Okay, thank you. Thank you for joining today's class. Uh, hello, Hugo, Alejandra, Jather, Juan Carlos. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you doing? Como están? How are you doing? I'm great, teacher. Okay, good. That is really good to hear. Victor, also welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, good evening. Good evening. Hello. All right. So it is really good to have you here. We, um, all right. And uh, well, thank you very much for joining today's class. Espero que hayan tenido un muy buen día. All right. Una, una pregunta. Yes, Juan Carlos, tell me. Uh, hello, Juan Carlos. I'm sorry. Did you have a question? Y si yo terminara la plataforma, ¿qué pasara? Uh, si usted terminara la, los ejercicios y completa sí. el porcentaje. Sí. Oh, that's fine. Si lo llega a completar antes del tiempo, eh, es muchísimo mejor. Automáticamente obtiene su diploma, right? Te le pregunto porque ya, por la, ya voy por la cuatro. Ah, ok. Excellent. Sí, usted obtiene su diploma and, uh, y pues se queda practicando en las sesiones virtuales que tengamos, ¿verdad? Ah, vale. Porque yo lo que quiero solo prácticamente ya solo practicar y por eso voy avanzando, le voy metiendo con todo. Sí, exacto. Es la idea que usted trabaje la parte gramatical y luego solamente um, se queda con el resto, right? Que ah, son las okay. sesiones and everything. Mm -hmm. so, Gracias, teacher. Gracias. Sure. Sure, no problem. Okay, so um, Ceci, Lia, welcome to, and uh, I'm really glad to see you today. Vamos a dar inicio. We are going to get started with uh, today's class, all right? And this is session number three, okay? And uh, it says here that uh, by the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary uh, for discussing how to celebrate a special occasions, okay? And um, so, si empezamos a trabajar in session, num uh, well, section number one, you can see some exercises about um, activities, about celebrations, and similar things, okay? Allow me just a second here. Okay, and uh, so we are going to practice um, this part today, all right? And um, just to get started, uh, there is a little conversation right here that we are going to practice, okay? And uh, it says, listen and repeat. This is about special occasions, okay? Or special celebrations. Um, before getting started, well, first of all, let's repeat the conversation, okay? We have letter A and we have letter B. Letter A says, are you going to the party on Saturday? So, repitamos, please. Let's repeat. Are, are you, you going, going to the party, to the party on, on Saturday? Saturday? And the next person says, I am thinking about it. Are I you? I am thinking about you. I am thinking about you. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. I think, yeah, yeah, I think it is going, going to be a lot, a lot of, fun. of fun. All right. Really? Well, what time does it start? Really? Well, well what time, time does, does it start? start? It starts at 8 p.m. It starts at 8 p.m. And I really think you should go. Well, uh, who else is going to be there? 
Everybody from school. Everybody, Everybody from, from school. school. Okay, very good. Now let's repeat a couple of words uh, right here. Number one is think. I think. I think. I think. Uh, it starts. It starts. I really think. It and starts. I really think. I really think. You should go. You should go. Okay, you should. You should. You should. Okay, very good. Now let's take a look at this one. Uh, first of all, there is going to be a party on Saturday. Okay. Can you tell me, guys, who is going to be at the party? ¿Quién va a estar en la fiesta? Who is going to be at the party? Basado en la conversation, based on this conversation, who is going to be at the party? Primera persona. ¿Quién va a estar en la fiesta? If you pay attention I, here, if you pay I, attention here, it I, says, I, well, who else is going to be there? All right? ¿Quién más va a estar ahí? And the answer is everybody from school. So, ¿quién va a estar en la fiesta? Who is going everybody. to be at the party? Exactly, at the party, sorry. Uh, so, that is everybody, okay? Everybody from school. Todos los de la escuela. Next question. What time? What time does it start? 8 p.m. Exactly, 8 p.m., all right? And so, this person is thinking about going to a party. Uh, this is going to be on Saturday at 8 p.m., all right? And everybody from school is going to be there. So, eso está basado en una, um, in a special occasion, okay? That is a party. Now, let's take a look at this one. In the material, uh, you have this little part that is special occasions, all right? So, what are the most um, important or common special occasions we normally have? Well, in El Salvador, we celebrate Mother's Day. We celebrate Father's Day, okay? Um, okay, allow me just a second. Let me uh, put in your, your microphones, okay? Also, we celebrate graduations, okay? We celebrate weddings. Take a look at the rings. When you get married, we celebrate anniversaries, okay? And here, over here, you have some of the activities that you normally do when you celebrate this. For example, we have sent cards. So, desde sus casas, please, let's repeat. Send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, and eat special food. So let's take a look at uh, the first one that is Mother's Day. What are some of the things that you do for Mother's Day? For example, um, in El Salvador, for Mother's Day, we give presents, okay? So we buy something for our mother and we give presents. Also, uh, maybe we take pictures or we take selfies, okay? Uh, maybe we have a party or we take our mother uh, to a restaurant, okay? So these are like the most common celebrations in El Salvador, all right? And these are the most common activities that we do, all right, uh, for Mother's Day. Now the question is, uh, taking these into account, what are some of the activities that you do, all right? So I will give you like two or three minutes and I want you to take one of these
take one specific celebration, escojamos una, take one celebration from this, okay, and choose, select the activities that you do, all right? Y si le podemos agregar más, if you can add more, that would be great, okay? That is awesome. That's really, really good. So, are we good? Is everything good? Do me a favor, just to make sure that um, we are on the same track, levantemos la manita, okay? Levantemos la mano if you got it, si lo comprendieron, if you got the instruction. Okay, Jader, thank you very much. Miguel, thank you. Okay, I see. All right, let me see. Anybody else? Okay, Juan Carlos, thank you. That's awesome. All right, bienvenidos los que se nos acaban de conectar to. I see Carolina, for example, Mr. Flores, uh, Ms. Leiva, Vicky, Juancito, uh, Mr. Mejia, Moto E, all right. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, great. So this is what we are going to do right now. Um, take a look at this, okay. Vamos a escoger uno. You are going to choose one of these, okay, one of the... Um, activities that you have there and uh, choose, okay? Choose one, choose some of the activities that you do for these celebrations, okay? So you have three minutes. Tenemos tres minutos. Y si pueden agregar más, that is great. That is really, really good. And uh, remember that si les gustaría compartirlos en el chat, that is awesome too. There's no problem, okay? Hello, Leah. Hello, teacher. Una uh, consulta. Sure, tell me. Este, nos mandaron un nuevo link para entrar a la clase. Este, eh, ¿Será que algunos nos habrán cambiado de grupo o tendremos que mantenernos todos en el mismo grupo? Porque Beatriz estaba aquí y dice que con, le cayó un nuevo link, pero no, no es para entrar a ese grupo, sino a otro. Pregunta a ella. Ah, ok, bueno, well, es importante que ingrese al link uh, del correo que le enviaron, right? So, inicialmente a uh, Inglés Corporativo les envió eh, el correo de confirmación, ok? So, tiene que asegurarse que entre a ese grupo en específico, right? ¿Será que, que sí, que este, la cambiaron de grupo? Podría uh, es, ser. Es una posibilidad, pero para estar seguros... Podría consultar directamente a los teléfonos de, de contacto que les han brindado, right? And, uh, y así se asegura, like. Oh, she belongs okay. to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sure, no problem. ¿Cómo vamos? Are we about to finish? Uh, teacher, hello, Ceci, tell me. Yeah, tell me. Uh, me. Me había levantado y pues no sé qué es lo que están trabajando. Oh, okay. So this is what you are going to do, okay? Uh, the things you do for each special occasion. But right now, vamos a seleccionar una. So I want you to select one of these um, special occasions, like Mother's Day, Father's Day graduation, uh, wedding, or anniversary. 
and you can select the activities that you do, you know, uh, like in your personal case, uh, the activities that you do when you celebrate this. For example, in a graduation, what are some of the things that you do for a graduation party? Uh, do you give presents? Do you send cards? Do you take pictures? Uh, do you um, eat cake? Or do you go to a restaurant? So um, this is what you are going to do. You are uh -huh. going to write a list, okay? And uh, Ceci, o si sea, le puede agregar el más. regalo depende de la ocasión. Um, no, las actividades, the activities that you do para una de estas, for one of them, all right? So. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure, you're welcome. Okay, so I am reading Jather's comment, which is on Mother's Day. I am going to send a card. Okay, that is really good. That is awesome. Okay, so I guess time is enough. Um, do you have a couple of activities? Ya avanzamos, do we have them? Terminamos. Mr. Mejia, did you finish? Are you ready? Uh, Mr. Albarenga, Hugo Albarenga, are we ready? Yes, ready. Okay, perfect, that's great. Let, let me just uh, make sure everybody's ready. Uh, Alejandra Bonilla, are you ready, Alejandra? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. That's really good. Okay, so listen up. What we will do is this. We are going to um, make some groups here, okay? And uh, I want you to share with your partners, okay, some of the activities that you normally do, all right? The activities you normally do uh, for these specific events. For example, uh, for my birthday, I or my family, has a cake for me. Uh, for a birthday party, I buy presents, I buy a cake, or we go to a restaurant. So the normal activities you do, all right? Si queremos utilizar be going to, that is perfect, it's okay. But just let's describe the activities, okay? So we are going to get in groups in three, two, and one. Guys, uh, well, everybody, let's practice, okay? And here we go. Okay. De cada una o de, de todas? No, de cada uno. Mm. De, cada, de cada quien. Mario, Vaya. Pero. Sí. Mm. Hello, hello. hello. Well, well, we can just describe one eh, because of the time. No podríamos describir todas. So you can select one, puede escoger solo una, all right? And talk about the activities that you do for that specific um, activity, okay? For that specific event. Okay. All right, so let's get started, let's practice. Okay. Uh... So In what are the... Uh -huh. What are the things that you do, for example, um, what, Jader, yeah, what do you have, Mr. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation? Uh, Mother's Day. 
Okay, Mother's Day. What are the things that you do for Mother's Day? Uh, on the Mother's Day, I think car, uh, eat cake. Okay. Take a picture. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Give present. Oh, very good. Okay, that sounds great. Okay, what about the rest? What are some of the activities that you do uh, for the occasion you chose, okay? We have Moro E. Hello, hello. Uh, well, Father's Day. Okay. Uh, um, take a picture. All right. Eat cake uh, have a picnic okay very nice do you buy presents for father's day yes present <laughs> uh, okay okay that sounds okay that sounds fine what about the others what do you do so uh let's continue okay continue practicing voy a ir a monitorear a los demás grupos all right so let's continue keep on practicing okay, okay? Uh, take the mm -hmm. picture of the, my, with my cell phone and the mother day, for example. No, no, lo, mm -hmm. no terminé esa oración, solamente puse take picture in the mother day. Como fue okay. Mm -hmm. but, but that's okay, that sounds fine. Uh, solo agreguemosle, I, I take pictures and it is okay, it is good. Okay, okay. Eat, eat, eat special food in the restaurant, for example, in the mother day. Okay, very nice. What is your favorite restaurant? Okay. Uh, you know my uno? favorite, my uh -huh. favorite is uh, is is in um, Longford. Ah, okay, okay, good. Uh -huh. Sounds great. Long, yes, uh, it's it's nice. The attention, attention, the the, the clientes. Ah, customer yes, service. Well. Okay, sí, sí. customer service. Okay, very good. What about the others? Um, uh, in Mother Days, I send cards, give present, uh, sing songs. Okay, very and good. Special food. Okay, nice. That is okay. Very good. So, what type of songs do you sing? ¿Qué tipo de canciones? What type of songs do you sing? Um, Cumbia. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Normal memorial of mother. Ah, okay, okay. I understand. That's all right. Okay, everybody. So continue practicing. You're doing a really good job. Voy a monitor el siguiente grupo. All right. Con practicing. Very good. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to travel uh, my mother uh, of country. Eh, ¿Qué más podría hacer? Bueno, voy a ver si voy a, voy a empezar yo. Eh. Dice, I gone, I gone to eh, wife eh, eh, and a neighbor's eat espiarse a food. Okay, so that would be, hello, hello. That would hello. be like in the anniversary, right? So you eat special food. Mm. I eat. Teacher. Hello, tell me, Mr. Pineda. For example, uh, este, day mother, uh, I'm going uh, visit my mother. Ah, uh, all right. On Mother's Day, I visit my mother. Or on Mother's Day, I am going to visit my mother. Yeah, that sounds okay. That's okay. Uh, Very good. Did, repeat, teacher. Please, teacher, please. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, repeat. Puedo decir. <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> no, yeah, sí. yeah. It's okay. Um, Miss Leiva, yeah. Let's go ahead. No, lo que pasa bueno. es que no entiendo cómo es que tendríamos que decir cuando, por ejemplo, porque yo le escuché a usted el ejemplo que decía for my birthday y comenzaba a decir las actividades, pero en este caso, digamos, por ejemplo, que vamos a decir eh, 
for the day Mother's Day, pero cómo decir las actividades, no sé cómo hacer esa entrada. Okay, y usted so, lo acaba de decir, pero no se, no logro entenderlo bien. Yeah, so you can use eh, on Mother's Day or you can use on Mother's Day. For, yeah, for Mother's Day. That's okay. Uh, no está bien si yo digo I I going to Mother Day it cake. Um, well, you can use for Mother's Day, I am going to eat cake, and that is okay. Entonces, mm -hmm. ah. I Mother's Day, going to eat cake. Un, un, that would be un, on, un, that would be on. Así sería bien. On Mother's Day. On Mother's Day, eat cake. I am going to eat cake, or I usually eat cake. And it's okay. It's fine. Okay. Right. Teacher. Uh, yes, tell me. Sería como combinar. Eh, por ejemplo, no sé cómo sería, eh, digamos, yo el Día de las Madres, yo le llevo flores. Entonces, oh. el llevo, no sé cómo sería. You can use take. 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 Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, well, in El Salvador, it is May the 10th. So on May the 10th, I take uh, flowers to a my flower. mother. I take my flowers. Uh -huh. I take my uh, flower, my mother. Uh -huh. to, to my mother. Okay, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, <clears throat> Miss, let me see. Miss Leiva, I, I don't know if I, under, if I answered your question. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. That's okay. Okay, everybody. So let's continue practicing. Continue. Okay. Thank you. Lo va a intentar, Juan Carlos. Dele usted para oírlo porque me quedé. Yo estoy perdido ahorita. Me quedé perdido. Digamos. Sí, sí, yo lo estaría solo diciendo como... como que, ¿Cómo que es lo que hace? ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, envío tarjetas, send cards. I, I send cards. De un solo el verbo. Uh -huh. Con el complemento. No, te, no ocuparíamos ni el to be ni el going to. Uh -huh. Yo estoy tratando de formular unas, pero... Eh, cuando veo para ver si le he puesto correcta, siempre me tira I will. Y ese es como un futuro, no sé, I will. O sea, no me, dice, no, no me sale I going, going, going. Entonces, no sé si yo no lo estoy usando bien. Hello, hello. Um, hello. Jamie, I was listening to your question. I'm sorry. Eh, estamos hablando de la plataforma, right? Ah, ok. Um, I mean, lo que usted mencionaba, what you mentioned of the use of will, uh -huh. es en la plataforma. No, no, no. no oh. Es que estamos formulando las preguntas de acuerdo a las actividades que usted okay. nos no deja. Entonces, pero este, si estamos ocupando el, el going to, es como lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero ella, yeah. dice que, pero ella dice que cuando ella formula la pregunta, no sé si en Google, no sé dónde. Ajá, cuando, ah, yo, ah, cuando, okay. yo quiero, cuando yo quiero verificar si yo la he formulado correctamente, me, me, me dice I will. Entonces, no sé si no lo estoy ocupando bien el verbo, de manera que poder usar el going to, el going, I'm going. Yes, I understand your question. Uh, well, actually, going, uh, hay varias formas en futuro, all right? So, mm -hmm. will es una, be going to es otra, all right? Mm -hmm. So, probablemente es el traductor, but it's okay. Pero sería, si seguimos la estructura, you are good. So, normally, the structure, uh, I am going to share this in the chat, okay? It is subject, okay? Mm -hmm. Then, we are going to use... Subject plus verb to be, okay? Mm -hmm. Subject, then be, I mean the conjugation, right? Then be going to, okay? And then the verb uh, mm -hmm. plus a complement or something. So for example, if you say um, for next, my next birthday, okay? My next birthday, mm -hmm. I am going to um, buy, 
um, cake, for example. So mm -hmm. I am going to buy a cake. So this is one of the structures that you can use for a future. También se puede con will, but will is, tiene un, un uso diferente, all right? It's a little different. Mm -hmm. So both are fine. Both are good. So, sería, cor sería correcto okay. si decimos, uh, on the Christmas, I am going to eat turkey? Yeah, that is perfect. On Christmas, okay? okay. Uh, sin el de, all right? On Christmas, I am going to uh, eat turkey, okay? I am going oh, to make some turkey. tamales, uh-huh. I am going to make some, um, you know, soup, for example, chicken soup or bean soup. It is okay. It is fine. Okay. Thank you. All right. No problem. Okay. So, Gracias, teacher. Okay. No problem. So, <laughs> girls, we have one more minute. Okay. Let's continue practicing and then we go back to the main, uh, um, let me see, to the main section. Okay. So, let's continue practicing. Okay. Okay. Okay, es que la que yo estaba formulando es on my anniversary, eh, I'm going to have a dinner at a restaurant. Juan Carlos, ¿qué le pasó? Lo que pasa es que me estoy haciendo un remedio. Hello. Le ve la cabeza. No, lo que pasa es que me estoy haciendo un remedio. Eh, ah. Como, como me, ha dado right. cosas, me ha dado resfriado. Espero que se sienta mucho mejor, all right? So, gracias. Thank you everybody for coming back, all right? So we are going to continue with the second part of the, um, well, some of the activities that we have for today. Uh, first of all, coming back to this, uh, can you help me please? Can you give me some ideas? Uh, first of all, let's take a look at a wedding. What are some of the activities that you do uh, for a wedding? Take a look at this. What do you do for a wedding? Do you send cards? Do you give presents? Volunteers? Thank you, thank you. Vicky, yeah. tell, tell me, yes. Hello, uh, send a card. Okay, send cards. Uh, uh, give a present. Okay, very good. Uh, send, send card is uh, como las tarjetas, o oh, como sería esas tarjetas? Yeah, tarjetas de felicitación, all right. So, uh, pero como ahí se entregan sobres. Oh, okay. Sobre con, din con dinero. That would be a present. Uh -huh. O sería lo mismo. That would be uh, give, give a present. Uh -huh. Give a present. Take a picture. Okay. Sing, uh, dance. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Uh, eat cake. All right. Um, have a party. All right, very good. Um, uh, eat uh, that dinner. Okay. Diner. Uh, dinner, dinner is fine. Okay, thank you. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Leah, tell us, please, Leah, what do you do for Father's Day? Father's Day. Yeah, please. In, in Father's Day, I, I, I am going to, I am oh. going to. That's fine. Okay. Have a party. And... Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. That's okay. That's fine. Thank you very much. Can anybody help me with graduation, please? Volunteers? Graduation. Uh, Thank you. Send a car. 
keep present, take picture. Mm. It can have a party, eat a special food. Okay, very good. That sounds great. So maybe eat a special food or have dinner or have lunch or uh, make something at home, right? So very good, very nice guys. So you did uh, this exercise, exercise very nicely. Okay, now let's take a look at this. We have just a couple of questions here. One of them says, what are you going to do for November the 2nd? Okay, this is a very specific question. What are you going to do for November the 2nd? That is the day of the death in El Salvador. Um, what are you going to do for your birthday? Okay, your next birthday. And number three, what are you going to do for Christmas? All right, so I will give you like three minutes. Write your answers on your notebook, take notes, okay? Check how to, uh, check the vocabulary that you need to discuss these questions, okay? And uh, we are going to share the answers in a couple of minutes, okay? So you have three questions, three minutes, Please take notes. Tomemos nota, right? Take notes um, on your notebooks. I am right here, guys. So if you have questions, uh, please let me know. Let me know when you are ready, please.
Hello, hello. Um, Leah, did you have a question? Sí, creo que me quedó la mano levantada, pero ah. si quiere, digo, le digo la, ¿cómo las formulé? Ah, well, sure. Ahorita vamos a compartirlas, all right? Thank you very much. Okay, uh, well, let me just check the chat. Okay. All right. Okay, um, well, in this part, if you pay attention here, the questions are related to future plans, okay? So what are you going to do for November? The question is about the future. So just one more time. What is the structure for future? Number one, subject, okay. Then B, I am, then going to, okay, I am going to, and then the verb, I am going to travel, I am going to stay in my house, I am going to read books, okay. So, uh, remember that this is the structure, so make sure that your sentence is like this, okay? For example, I, that would be the subject. Then we have verb B, so verb B can be am, okay? I am, then going to, okay? Then travel, for example, to Guatemala. Okay, so if you check this out, they, they have like all the elements of a sentence. I, that is the subject, B, so we have I'm um, right here, going to the verb that is travel, and then to Guatemala, that is a complement, all right? If I want to say, no voy a hacer esto, all right? For example, I am, no voy a trabajar, I, say, I am, and here I am going to make or I am going to indicate that this is negative, all right? I am not, and then I continue. I am not going to, I am not going to work, for example, okay? So let me change the color right here because this is uh, the normal I am structure, not. okay? So negative sentences, just remember that we add a not over there. I am not going to but then the rest is exactly the same, all right? So we are going to practice this, okay? We are going to uh, make groups one more time, all right? Please practice as much as, pra as possible, okay? So practice. So we make, we get in groups in three, two, and one. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, Rocio. Miss Rauda, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Mr. Quintanilla, hello. Buenas noches, hello. Hello, thank you for, uh, for joining, all right? So, well, estamos trabajando, we are working right now. Se acaba de conectar. Sí. Ah, okay, perfect. Ahorita me estoy conectando. Ah, okay, no problem. So, we are working with describing some of the activities that you are going to do uh, for the next celebrations, for the next uh, event or holidays, okay? So, hemos estado practicando, uh, okay. we're going to, all right? So, estamos ahorita practicando en grupos, all right? Y describiendo lo que usted va a hacer para el siguiente cumpleaños, para el 2 de noviembre, all right? Y para Navidad. So, 
lo voy a agregar a uno de los grupos so you can practice and also you can listen to them, all right? Okay, thank so, you. Okay, no problem. Allow me just a second. Okay, here we go. Practice uh, as much as possible, okay? Okay. to get present for children. Bread, bread with chicken, pan con pollo. Pan con pollo. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no sé si así se dice. Hello, hello. I'm going to... Hello. And, and that was for everything, for Christmas, for your birthday, and also for November the 2nd, to have bread. For Christmas. Ah, okay, Christmas. for Christmas. Bread, bread with, bread with chicken. chicken. Also, uh, tamales, right? So I am going to make some tamales. So what are you going to make? Pero, ¿cómo se dice pan con pollo? Yeah, bread o with pan chicken, relleno. okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine, that's fine. Uh, okay. Chicken, vegetables, uh huh. that's okay, that's fine. So tell me, what are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? I'm going to eat pizza. I'm, I'm pizza in December. Christmas. Yes, Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. 24. It's different, it's different old people. All people eat uh, chicken, chicken, um, and I eat pizza only okay. this day. Okay, sounds good. You sounds eat good. pizza on 24 de December. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. That only sounds this okay. Day in, in the year. Uh, all right. Uh, well, guys, just a question. Uh, Hablaron con Mr. from Moto E4? Yeah, no, no. no. Ah, okay. Well, something happened maybe. No, All anteriormente right. tampoco. Ah, okay, okay. That's fine. Okay, so Mr. Flores, what about you? What are you going to do? Are you going to eat bread with chicken? Okay. Eat the sweet bread? Okay. okay, that's okay. Uh, dancing, <laughs> dancing with my family. Okay, I am going to dance, okay? Okay, very good. That sounds great. What about the rest of the celebrations, okay? So continue practicing. You are doing a really good job. Voy a saludar a los demás, all right? So let's continue, okay. continue. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Entonces, es, 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 hello, hello. Okay. Hello, teacher. How are you doing here? ¿Cómo van? Are you about to finish? Were you practicing? Practice. Sí, yes. Ah, okay. Very um, good, very good. Yes. So tell me, what are you going to do in, in December? December. December. December of Christmas. I'm going to dance a cumbias. Okay, Ooh. very good. So you're going to dance. Okay. What are you going to do? The, the dance all night. Ah, okay. You're going to dance uh, all night long. Very good. Mr. Mejia, what are you going to do? All night. Hmm. Miguel, what about you? What are you going to do? I am. Um, I am going. Uh, I'm going to to church. Ah, okay. Um, so you're going to church. Uh, um, the church in the Sunday. Okay, very in good. The morning. Ah, okay. That sounds great. Uh, Miss Bonilla, what about you? 
Um, I am going to go uh, a visit family. Oh, okay, where do they live? Here in San Salvador? Yes, in San Salvador. Ah, okay, okay, very nice. My family um, is in Oloquilta, so I am going to visit my family there in Oloquilta. Do you have family in Oloquilta? No? Or in San Miguel? Oh, no. It was record Guinness than a pupusa. Oh, yeah. Are you going to eat pupusas in December? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So that's a plan. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, continue practicing. Voy a saludar a los demás too. All right. Y para ver cómo están. All right, continue. You're doing a good job. So go ahead. Guatemala. Está bien, teacher. Hello, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear the sentence. What was it? Vaya. Vaya, o sea, sí. I am, I am going to Guatemala. No, perdón, 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 me equivoqué. I am going to November travel to Guatemala. Uh, okay, so first of all, uh, that sounds good. But normally November, like las fechas, las ponemos al inicio o las ponemos al final. All right? Ah, o sea. November, o you sea, can put it at the end. November, November, I am going to a city. Uh, no. Yeah, no. but okay, well. There are two possibilities, okay? Number one, eh, if you remember class number one, cuando hablo del mes, ¿qué voy a utilizar? In or on? On. On. Mm, pero si solo es el mes. In. Okay, in. No, in. In, in. in. Okay, ah, so okay. first, in. los meses siempre deben de llevar in, all right? So in uh, okay. December, in November, in October, etc. Usted puede decir, in November, ah, I am going to travel to Guatemala, okay. or... I am going to travel to Guatemala ah. in November. Yes? So we can use that at the beginning or we can use that at the end. But siempre no se me lo olvide ponerle um, el, la preposición, right? Ir, in, I'm sorry, or on. Okay? So one more time. Teacher. Okay, okay. Yo ya lo entendí, teacher. In. In, no, in, no, in November. Okay. In November, all right. Go to but travel mm -hmm. in what no, Guatemala to Guatemala. Le faltó el sujeto. Sígueme todos los elementos, okay. eh, Juan Carlos. All right, all the elements. Let me share yeah, my okay. screen. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me share my screen right here. Okay, so we can help you and we go step by step. First of all, go with this. This is what you are going to, uh, ah, well, actually the example is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so acá lo tienes, Juan Carlos. You have it here. Sí. Okay. Vaya, pues sí, pero como vamos a empezar, vamos a empezar aquí, como usted me dijo, in, in November, okay. I am going to travel to Guatemala. Okay, that's much better, all right? That's okay, that's okay. fine. Okay. That's the way we use it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm Teacher. sorry, Mr. Pineda. Yes, tell me. Hello? Uh, for example, uh, on, on November 2nd, uh, I'm going, I am going uh, to visit the cemetery. Okay, that is good. Porque ya me está diciendo la fecha específica. So, on November 2nd, I am going to go to the cemetery, okay? That's okay, that's good. Thank All right. Okay, so allow me just okay. a second. Teacher, una, una pregunta. Sure, tell me, Ceci. Or oh, Miss no. Leiva. Vilma. Oh, okay, okay, tell ah, me. Sí. Solo una pregunta. Este, on es en, ¿verdad? The thing is this. Y in es en también. What happens is this. Uh, in, we check in. in class number one. That, cuando se utiliza los meses, usa uh -huh. va a utilizar solo in. In March, in April, in May, etc. Cuando usted me da una fecha específica, we use on. On April 2nd, on uh -huh. December the 5th, all right? 
So, utilizamos fechas específicas, on, solo el mes, in, right? So, es más fácil que traducirla, all right? That's easier to understand, all right? So, allow me just a second. Digamos que solo la utilizamos. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. Solo la utilizamos como una, como, como gramática, algo así, no es que, o sea, porque significan lo mismo. O algo así, no sé si yo soy confundida. Ya, yeah, pero hay como reglas de cómo utilizarlos tú, right? Uh -huh. Son preposiciones. Uh -huh. So, if you want, yo puedo compartir un, poco, un par de ejercicios, all right, a usar, se los puedo mandar para que revise cómo utilizarlo, like, in detail. Ok. okay? No problem. Ok, guys, so, um, vamos okay. a volver a la sesión principal, all right? Yes, allow me one second here. Hello, hello. All right, so how was the practice? Did you check, uh, did you answer the questions? Discutieron las preguntas, did you check them? Yes, Lograron practicar, yes, could you practice? Yes, All right, do you have any yes. question on how to use be going to? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mejia, tell me, do you have any question? Preguntas, comments? Mm. What are we okay? No, are... estamos bien. All right, uh, Juan Carlos, eh, tell me, Juan Carlos. Al principio no lo había entendido porque me salió la, me salí de la, de la, se me salió la, la el internet se me cayó. All right. No le había entendido, pero como, como usted me dio una explicación más o menos, ya le okay. entendí más o menos que cuando yo voy a decir, digamos, día 2, tengo que decir on. Y All cuando right. no digo la fecha, digamos, cuando no digo la fecha, solo digo november o october, eh, yo digo in, ¿verdad? That in is correct. November. That is fine. Ah, ok. Bueno, hoy sí ya lo entendí, teacher. Okay. Ay, disculpen, como estoy un poquito mal entapiado, por eso no había entendido muy bien. No te preocupes, eso es just fine. Ok, so listen up. Um, the part of in and the part of on, we checked it in class number one. Ok, so tienen en la playlist, tienen los videos, so you can go back, pueden regresar, you can check it, you can watch it, all right? So está la parte de in and on uh, when we are talking about dates. Ok, no problem. So everybody, espero que um, everything is clear for now, okay? Um, sigamos trabajando en la plataforma. Try to finish this as fast as possible, all right? Or as Juan Carlos said, intentemos completarlo antes de la fecha, right? Y solo nos quedamos practicando. That would be great. Okay, so thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.